the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the grace and peace of our lord jesus christ the love of god the father and the fellowship of the holy spirit be with you all and with your spirit we are together for a great celebration we need to sanctify ourselves so that we can worthily offer this sacrifice for the times we have failed in our life we ask the lord pardon and forgiveness i confess to almighty god and, and to you, you my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that i have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words in what i have done and in what i have failed to do through my fault through my fault through my most grievous fault therefore i ask the blessed mary ever virgin all the angels and saints and to you my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the lord our god may almighty god have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting amen Let us pray. Keep your family safe, O oh Lord, with unfailing care, that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, they may be defended always by your protection. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. First reading. A reading from the book of Isaiah. This says the Lord, Share your bread with the hungry, 
and bring the homeless poor into your house. When you see the naked, call him, and do not hide yourself from your own flesh. Then shall your light break forth like the dawn, and your healing shall spring up speedily. Your righteousness shall go before you, the glory of the Lord shall be your rare God. Then you shall call and the Lord will answer. You shall cry and he will say, here I am. If you take away from the midst of you the yoke, the pointing of the finger and speaking wickedness, if you pour yourself out for the hungry and satisfy the desire of the afflicted, then shall your light rise in the darkness and your gloom be as the noonday. The word of God. Thanks be to God. Your response, the good man is a light. The good man is a light. In the darkness for the upright. In the darkness for the upright. He is a light in the darkness for the upright. He is generous, merciful and just. The good man takes pity and lends. He conducts his affair with honor. The good man is a light. The good man is a light. In the darkness for the upright. In the darkness for the upright. The just man will never waver. He will be remembered forever. He has no fear of evil news. With a firm heart, he trusts in the Lord. The good man is a light. The good man is a light. In the darkness for the upright. In the darkness for the upright. With a steadfast heart, he will not fear. Open-handed, he gives to the poor. His justice stands firm forever. His head will be raised in glory. The good man is a light. The good man is a light. In the darkness for the upright. In the darkness for the upright. Second reading, a reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. During my stay with you, I claim to know nothing except Jesus Christ and him crucified. When I came to you, brethren, I did not come proclaiming to you the testimony of God in lofty words or wisdom, for I decided to know nothing among you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. And I was with you in weakness and in much fear and trembling, and my speech and my message were not in plausible words of wisdom, but in demonstration of the Spirit and power, that your faith might not rest in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. The word of God. Thanks be to God. Let us all rise for the acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. Open our heart, O Lord, to accept the words of your Son. Alleluia. with you and with your spirit reading from the holy gospel according to saint matthew glory to you o lord chapter 5 verses 13 to 16 jesus said to his disciples you are the salt of the earth but if salt has lost its taste how shall its saltness be restored. It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trodden under foot by men. You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden. Nor do men light a lamp and put it under a bushel but on a stand, and it gives light to all in the house. Let your light so shine before men 
that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I believe in God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty creator, creator of heaven and earth, earth and, and in Jesus Christ, Christ his only Son, our Lord, was, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, Mary suffered under Pontius Pilate, Pilate, was crucified, died, died and was buried. He descended into hell. On, On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From, From there, there he will come to judge, to judge the living and the, and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the, the Holy Catholic, Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. We take some time offering to the Lord all our needs. Let us pray that we receive God's grace to lift the message in our day-to-day -day life, the message which we have listened today. We also pray for the church. We pray for Pope Francis and all those who are leading the church. Let's also pray for every member of the church. We pray that God keep us in his grace and keep us united. We also pray for our families, all the members of our family. Let's pray that they will be touched and blessed by God. We pray for all those who are sick and suffering, that the Lord will touch and heal them. We also pray for peace and joy in our personal life and in our family. Let us remember and pray for all those people who have asked our prayers. And there are many we are obliged to pray for. Let's pray for them. We also offer to the Lord, Caddis Foven, all the programs we have here and also outside. Tomorrow we start a retreat for the priests in Vishakhapatnam. Let's pray for all those priests who are attending the retreat. We also pray for the success of the retreat we begin on 12th of this month in Kairis Pavan. We have a convention to be conducted in Mavelikara. That's from 20th to 22nd. Let's offer all these programs into the hand of God so that God will bless and anoint all of them and all those who are attending them. Let's also pray for our own personal intentions. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
pray my dear sisters and brothers that the sacrifice of mine and yours will be acceptable to God our father may the lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church o lord our god who once established these created things to sustain us in our frailty grant we pray that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life we make this prayer through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let's give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god through christ our lord for out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours he humbled himself and was born of the virgin mary by the passion of the cross he freed us from unending death and by rising from the dead he gave us eternal life and so with angels and archangels with the thrones and dominions and with all the hosts and powers of heaven we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim entering into the most important part of the celebration let us pour out our hearts in prayer you are indeed holy o lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and ended willingly into his passion he took bread giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Sebastian our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As we stand before the Lord, we now lift to our Heavenly Father all our needs and pray. Our Father, who, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come. thy will be done. done on earth as, as it is in heaven. Give us, give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, temptation but deliver us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and save from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said, Your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and the one chalice, grant us, we pray, so to live that made one, made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world. 
we make this prayer through Christ our Lord Amen The Lord be with you and with your spirit May almighty God bless you the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit Amen Let's go in peace to love and serve the Lord Thanks be to God Music